Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to run a report in Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So let's proceed and first learn what is report in Salesforce. The Salesforce report is a standard object that facilitates data summarization and meaningful data visualization. And in simple words, we can say that the Salesforce report is used to perform a data analysis in accordance with the demands of your client. So now let's move ahead and learn to run the report in Salesforce Lightning Edition first. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning Edition. So if you want to, uh, so let's take a scenario first and uh, discuss with an example. Suppose you want to run a contact and uh, accounts type report uh, that have a first name of a letter start with the A. So for this you firstly have to go to the setup and from here you have to select the app in which you want to uh, run the report or you can directly search for the report item also. Whatever way you like you can go with. So here I select an app with the name services. So now here on a above tab list we have an item with the name of a report so I click on it. So then on the right hand side we have a button of a new report. So I click on that. So now it shows us a pop up. And so from a category list that is on the left hand side, you have to select the category. So here from my select the accounts in the context. And from here on a right side or in a from a middle, you have to select the report type. So from here I select the report type as a context and a account. So from when you click on it, it will uh, show you the start report option on the left side of the page. So I click on this button start report and it show you the page that has a report of a new contact and the account report. So it shows you that no record return to edit it. You have to first click on the option of a, or a link of a show all records. Okay. Then it shows you all the record and uh, for this you have to refresh it first. So I click on this refresh button, then it asks you to select the uh, report of all the time or the set some date filter. So I want all time report, so I select it and I again click on a refresh button. So now it shows me the context and account report. So now we want to add a filter for this here we have to click on a filters. So here I click on it then from here I have to search for the first name. So here I click on add filter. So from here I add F and it shows me the search of a first name. So I click on it and now it uh, asks me to select an operator. So I select the operator from here uh, starts with. So now it uh, asks me to add a value. So here I enter a value with a capital A. And then finally I click on a A. So with this we and to see the changes you have to click on refresh first. Okay. So now it shows you the first name that have uh, started with a A. So you can also delete the unwanted fields if you don't want it by clicking on the arrow and selecting the option of a remove column. Suppose here I don't want the mailing city. So I click on this drop down. So uh, once we proceed, so you can see that here we have one more option of a update preview automatically. For this, you don't have to again click on a refresh link. So I select it and from here now I click on a mail city drop down. And you can see that on a last option, we have option of a remove column. So when I click on it, it will remove the column of a mailing city. So now I want to run this report finally. So here on the above right side on the top we have a button of a run. So I click on it. So it, now you can see that it uh, will run the report and shows us that the total records are a 4 here. So now if you want to save it you can also save it. For this you have to click on this drop down arrow next to the edit button. So here we have a option of a save and export. If you want to save it, you can save it. If you want to export, you can export it. So with this, we have learned how we run the report in Salesforce Lightning. We can also run the report in Salesforce Classic Edition if you are using the classic one. 
so let's first move to the classic edition so here i click on my profile and here i have option of a switch to a salesforce classic so i click on this button so now this time we will take a scenario that we want to run the report of the leads okay for this you have to look at the tabs on here we have a tabs so above you can see the tab of reports and if you don't get to here the option of a reports you can click on this plus icon and you will get the option of reports so here i click on it and uh, from here on a left top side you will get the option of a new report now click on it and uh, now it ask you to select the type of the report so from here i select the leads and then i click on this create button which is shown in a downward direction so after that it uh, ask me to select the range and uh, for the time period so here we will get the option of a date field and the range or from to so i want uh, the leads detail from all the time so i select the range to all and show it shows me all the leads detail so now you can also fetch up the record on the basis of a group you can select if you want so for this you have to uh, click on the field and here we will have a drop down arrow now click on it and you can see that it ask you to group by this field so i group by this field as i want to group it by with the rating system so it uh, create it now i want to run it so i finally select all the things now i want to run this report and on a top left side i have a button of a run a report so i click on this button and it successfully run this report so now it ask me to save it so you can also save it you can also view the printable view and uh, we also have some more options so if you want to schedule the run report you can also do it if you want and uh, for this you have to click on this run report button and next to it it has a drop down arrow you have to click on it and here you will get option of a uh, schedule further runs so when i click on it it ask you to you can schedule it now you can fill up the description if you want and it also have a unique name which is automatically set in the report folder if you want to change anything you can change it and click on uh, save and continue to schedule button finally if you want to schedule it now it ask you to select the user to whom you want to run this so you can select it you can also select the report uh, email to me or to any other one if you want and uh, you can also set the frequency like you want to run this report daily weekly monthly or every weekend or uh, every day or you can also uh, select the start uh, and end date if you want and you can also prefer the time if you want to do that you here we will have option of a prefer start time and after that you can click on this uh, save report schedule it will uh, schedule your report according to your setting so with this we have also learned to run the report in salesforce classic edition so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day